Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the interior of the base of the skull. This, is, this will be the first lecture and we will discuss anterior cranial fossa in this lecture. When we observe the interior of the base of the skull, we will see three fossa. This is anterior cranial fossa. This one is middle cranial fossa. And this one is posterior cranial fossa. This is the outline of anterior cranial fossa. The boundaries of anterior cranial fossa are this is the frontal bone. So anteriorly and on by sides, it is made up of frontal bone. If we discuss the posterior boundaries, this is the posterior border of lesser wing of sphenoid bone and these are anterior clinoid process and this structure is sulcus chiasmaticus. So these three structures that is posterior border, border of the lesser wing of sphenoid and clinoid process and the sulcus chiasmaticus these form the posterior boundary that is posterior border of lesser wing of sphenoid anterior clinoid process and the sulcus chiasmaticus. Now the floor This is the floor and floor in its medial area is formed by anteriorly, anterior part of floor and medial region is formed by cribriform plate. Cribriform plate is the part of ethmoid bone. It is a perforated plate through which the uh, olfactory neurons emerge out. Creepiform plate, this is creepiform plate. So, anterior margin of creepiform plate articulates with the frontal bone, and these are having foramen cecum in between. This is foramen cecum. This is the lateral margin of the cribriform plate. It articulates with the orbital plate of frontal bone. Now, we can also observe anterior ethmoidal canal somewhere here. And these are foramina to nose. We know that this central elevated structure on the cribriform plate of ethmoid bone is known as crista galli. So lateral to crista galli there are foramina to nose and posterior lateral to them on the lateral margins of cribriform plate there are another set of foramina that is anterior ethmoidal canals. And this is the posterior border of cribriform plate. So posterior laterally there is another foramina that is posterior ethmoidal canal. So this is cribriform plate. Now this region, this is basically jugum sphenoidal. What is jugum sphenoidal? It is basically a slightly elevated smooth surface which is formed by the fusion of lesser wings just anti above, just above to the anterior part of the body of sphenoid bone. So this flattened part, slightly elevated part is known as jugum sphenoidal. So this jugum sphenoidal articulates with the 
posterior posterior boundary of the cribriform plate this is jugum spinoid now this is the lesser vein so the floor is basically formed by the cribriform plate medially and anteriorly laterally major part of floor is formed by the orbital plate orbital plate of frontal bone posteriorly by lesser vein and posterior and posterior medially by the jugum sphenoid so this is the anterior cranial fossa importance clinical importance is that if fracture of anterior cranial fossa occurs then the black eye may occur because of seepage of blood in the eyelids and also the csf may come out through the nose so this is anterior cranial fossa so in next lecture we'll be discussing the middle cranial fossa so hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications